Hello everyone, I'm Hank and welcome to Comments VR. Today I'm going to introduce the VR Glove project and show you the part of the progress I've made so far. I made the bi-directional communication between Arduino and Unity 3D. I was able to control the objects in Unity 3D with Arduino, transmitting the data in both directions. Before that, I'd like to introduce the simple schematic of VR Glove project. The most two important thing in this project is software design and hardware control. For the software, I will use the Unity 3D to design and simulate the 3D model. Unity 3D is open source and a convenient tool to design and simulate 3D models. For the hardware parts, I will use Arduino to control and communicate with Unity. VR gloves track the movement of hands and send the data to Unity 3D. Unity 3D simulates the hand. During the simulation, the hands in virtual reality will interact with the environment such as hold or grab the objects. Then, you need to send those physics data to Arduino, and Arduino will provide the haptic feedback to Glove. I have not decided how to give the haptic feedback and what sensors to track the movement, but I will unload it soon. The first thing to do is make a successful communication between Arduino and Unity 3D. Building a reliable and low latency communication between Arduino and Unity 3D has to be done first because in order to develop movement tracking and provide the haptic feedback to your cloud, it is essential to establish a continuous and successful communication between hardware and software. And here's why today's video is about the zero communication and I'll show you how I did it step by step. This is the sample code to make a connection between Unity and Arduino. So I first, I setting up the uh, joystick to Arduino and set switch 8, uh, switch as a pin 8, and uh, joystick SX6 and Y SX as a analog 0 and an analog 3 pin. I start the serial and read the value from SX and then uh, save it to RX and RY. And then those value are range from the the raw value is from one to thousand twenty four, but I remap it to negative five hundred to five hundred to use as to use a uh, to making control in the Unity three D. And then I set I made the data format as X six, Y six, and then input switch. So the maximum and minimum value for X six and Y six are negative five hundred and five hundred. And then uh, when I push it, it's 1 and 0, 1, 0. And I'm going to use this format to control the object in the Unity 3D. So I use the system collection and system IO ports to make a connection with the uh, Arduino with the serial port. And then here, serial port, data stream, I made the variables. And then I'm using COM7 with the baud rate of 19,200, which is, you can check here, tools, is it port COM7 is connected? I heard that usually it's COM4, but for my computer it's COM7. Uh, and then I set baud rate as 19,200. 19, And then I made a variable to receive the data, and then the rigid body to control the object in the Unity, and for the sensitivity is for control the object, object, how fast and how strong. I'll explain in here. And then in the void start, I set up the the serial connection, and then I read those the serial data by read line function and then I receive as a string and then I do you remember that the data is con uh, receiving as like this and then the data data will be splitted by this comma so if this the data zero data zero here is negative 13 comma data one is negative five and comma and data two is zero, and then we re receive, we will receive and save as data. Then this add force function is moving the object with the number of amount that when I increase it, like maximum was five hundred and times sensitivity, which is zero point zero one, 
if it's increased the number like 10 or 1 it will be moving super fast so I set as 0 0.01 and then this is for x at 6 this is for y at 6 in in my view here it's not absolute uh, x and y at 6 in my view and then this is the rotate function that I will rotate the one direction well, yeah I receive the switch only has a 0 and 1 so when it's 1 it only rotate in the one direction and then I control the object with the joystick connected to Arduino and it is working but it has a very it is very lagging and it seems kind of like a sl slow down I found out the reason that I set the delay function not to send the data too much but actually it caused the delay so I removed the delay function to fix the lag in unity and without delay it is very smooth and working very very well <laughs> and there's no lag or no slowing down so the serial port turned out that it is extremely responsive. I don't feel any lags while I'm using this joystick and the rotation switch, all the X, A, Y, S, X are working fine. I also made a simple script that turning on LED by sending the data from Unity to Arduino. So bidirectional communication with the serial port is successful. Today I made a bidirectional communication between Arduino and Unity 3D. I expect this communication is a good starting point for further research and project plan. Thank you for watching, I will come back with a great idea.